all these hoes trying to lock in one of young figures since I got rich. Shot stop gumbo and some drink. Only thing get my mix. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you how to make some simple plain gumbo. It's a few ingredients. I had an onion and I had a bell pepper. I had a green one and I had an orange one. And that's all I had. I was going to do more, but that's all I had. So I cut them things up and I chopped them things. I didn't even cut them up that good. I was like, okay, let me go in here and hurry up because I was in a rush. My husband, he was about to go to work and I'm like, oh, let me hurry up and cook some so he'll have something to eat to go when he go to work. But yeah, anyways, you chop them things up. You put them things in, and actually, I put them in the pan and was going to cook them, and I was like, why am I doing that? I might as well put it in the pot like that. And that's what I used, the Louisiana gumbo base. And look on the back on the grease, chicken stock. I ain't had that. I ain't had that. But I feel like this is going to be the same thing. So what I did, I had that, and I got some water, and I mixed it together, and it's chicken water. That's the same thing. Chicken stock is chicken water, and it's going to make it today, and how it tastes, it tastes real good, too. So... You see, I put a two cups trying to be, like, I don't even know why I just did. Well, it was a Phillips cup. You're going to have to put some more water in there because it's going to be a little dry, a little sluggish, you know, when you start cooking it for real. So you're going to have to add some more water in there. But, yeah, Louisiana uh, gumbo base. So mix it up. You see how it's small? It ain't nothing in there. There's just vegetables, the water, the chicken broth, the juice, and then... The other stuff, yeah, you got to put some bay leaves in there. I was just trying to be fancy for the video. It's my first, well, yeah, one of my first videos. The same, I was making the rice video at the same time. Well, check out my rice video. It's on my page. Um, But, yeah, get that. So, I was like, okay, let me hurry up. Cut this rice, the rice video on my page, like I said. And Tony's Creole seasoning. I was like, I taste that. I'm like, it needs something else. So, that's what I, <laughs> that's what I put. Um, and you stir that thing up because you don't want to just sit on top of the water. I, I look, I ain't, I don't feel like taking this part out. That's why I'm I'm talking over this part. But yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. I'm like, okay, you cut that thing on high. That's what I had it on. You season that chicken up with the same Tonys. Um, sometimes I do stuff backward because I'm like. Because I, I eventually chopped it up too, and it was seasoning, and it got on my hand. But chop it up, season it, and then do that, okay? The rice should be ready. Should be. Um, Simple rice, okay? Page, it's on my video, on my page. But, yeah, you see, it needed something else. I, I don't know. I, I just need seasoning. So, I don't know. I, it grabbed me. I, I'm glad I'm making this video so I can replicate this because I do not cook the same food the same way all the time. I use different ingredients, different seasonings all the time. So I'm glad I'm going to be able to duplicate. I just know it's going to be good. Every time, if it don't, my husband will tell me, my, my son will tell me, and I go back to the drawing board and I start on over. I don't have some feel. Oh, yeah, I also put some sausage in there. You got some leftover sausage, throw that thing in there. Some shrimp, throw that thing in there. Look at that rice. Perfect rice. Simple. Water rice. Hot low. But yeah, the video. Yeah, but you think that you put that thing in there, let that thing cook. Rice should be ready. And boom. That's long rice video. Boom. Done.